when you go before the Lord and you have sin in your heart, hear me now, please. This is so important. When you go before the Lord and you have sin in your heart and you've done something that you know is wrong, how does that affect you? How can you pray when there is shame on you, weighing on your mind? How can you pray when your focus is being disrupted? Have you ever tried to pray to the Lord when there's unconfessed sin in your heart or when you've done something that you've not addressed yet? It's very, very difficult to pray with that shame. It's very difficult to focus on him when you're focused on your past. It's very difficult to talk to God when you're rehearsing what you've done again and again and again in your mind. So it's important that you confess your sin. Holiness and righteousness matter. Holiness brings favor. Please remember that holiness does bring favor. Yes, God loves you. Yes, God will never abandon you. Yes, God is with you. But when you sin, there is disruption. Not because the connection is severed, but because your response to that connection, your faith in that connection, your confidence in that connection, your focus on that connection becomes hindered. It's not that God goes deaf. It's that we lose the confidence to speak. And that's what sin will do. Those secret sins that you try so hard to hide. Those things in your life that you know you not ought to do, yet you do them anyway. Those habits that cause you to return again and again and again, as the scripture says, like a dog returning to its vomit, like a pig after being clean, rolling again in the mud. You go back to those things that you know you not ought to touch. You go back to those things that bring about shame. You go back to those things that make it difficult to believe that God will hear you. The Bible says having our conscience cleansed, it's very difficult to approach God with a dirty conscience. It's very difficult to approach God if you're wondering if he's even going to hear you. The forgiveness of God, please hear this people of God. The forgiveness of God produces faith to approach God. The forgiveness of God produces faith to approach God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.